today. In other news, officials at the Pacific Nuclear Research Facility have denied the rumor that a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks ago. A Libyan terrorist group had claimed responsibility for the alleged theft. Creatives, how are you? Welcome back to the Nerd Creative Channel. Fan home, build the Back to the Future DeLorean, part 27. In this video, we'll be completing issue 53 of the build. Grab yourself a coffee, sit back, relax, and enjoy. As always, with every build, it comes with component parts and it comes with magazines. Let's have a look at the, comp the magazine. Nice shot of the side there with the door sill I think if that's the door sill there that we did so there are components that come with this section they look very similar to the components that came in the previous one so I think we're doing the door sill on the other side on the passenger seat side so there's our step-by-step -step instructions of what we need to do so we're doing the same again seem to have more cables this time yeah Yeah. Hooray for hoverboards. Production diary. The making of an iconic prop for the Back to the Future film trilogy. Yep, the hoverboard. From the Mattel. And there's a pit bull as well. Biff's pit bull. J.J. Cohen. The actor who played Biff's henchman, Skinhead, was a young star in the 80s but later turned away from acting. There he is there. And then a, a little sneak peek of issue 54, which includes the rear bulkhead. And then again, we've got all the components there. Um, some coloured in there because it's cabling. So let's bring our components back and get organised. I'm going to bring the magazine back and make sure we've got everything that goes in issue 53. Just ease them out there. So we've got the, the other door sill. Then we've got these pipe sections. So we've got this one here. It's like a, a J shape and then like a Z shape there. And then we've got two bags of screws. We've got some more AP screws and some more FP screws. And then in the final compartment of components, we've got cables. So we've got three cables here with gray fixtures on them. And then we've got a coloured one with a grey fixture on that as well. And we've got two two cable ties. So, so we've got that, that. So let's have a look at our cables. So we've got, so two of them, yes, yeah, so there again. We've got two that are the same, which are these two there. And then we've got one that's on its own there. And then we've got our coloured one there, which I'm going to 
fix because it seems to have come loose. I'm going to feed it back over here and I'm going to twist it round where it was twisted, but I think it's just come undone. So I'm just going to twist it around here, there, like that. There. So we've got all the components. I'm just going to put our screws away. So we've got AP screws. And then we've got FP screws. There. Let's begin. So I've got something a little bit different in these components, which is these pipes here. So what we've got to do is I'm going to turn that up there and then this. See how they join there, like that, there. That's how they join. There, you see. And they, they, they're held into place with one AP screw. Just going to bring these two together. Make sure I've got them lined up properly. And pass through the AP screw. Yeah, it definitely goes that way and it only goes in one way there isn't a hole at the back so let's just try that again make sure those two line up not easy to do. Let me just flip it over a bit. See if I can make sure it's tight. There. That's that pipe connected there. There's the screw. Yeah, it's gonna make sure it's there. So I brought the interior of the car back so because we've got to get this pipe in there. I think these two uh, protruding sections go in holes down here. Just try and see if they line up here. So they go in holes like that, but they also need to go in the hole in under here, which I might not be able to show you. There is a hole underneath the dashboard right so I've got it in the hole there now what I need to do is feed there that's it there to the pipe there it just feeds in there I'm just checking uh, place the pipe along the floor next to the align with the post post in the base of the pipe yep and then the hole in the dashboard there. And then we, we do need to secure that into place with 
two, just checking, two FP screws. So I'm going to get two FP screws out. I'm going to have to flip the car over to screw that pipe in place. So I don't think I'm going to get it from the side. Let me just check. I might get it from the side here. It's this hole. So let's move it. So it's this hole and this hole. Let me just. Let me just pull the car forward. So it's this hole and this hole here, this hole and this hole. So I'm going to put the first screw in. I'm gonna hold the pipe from the other side. I'm not going to get that in tight, I'm just going to get it in enough there. And then I'm going to put the second screw in to make sure it goes in properly. Before I tighten up. This is a bit, a bit fiddly. In there. Quite a unique an angle, this. I'm going to tighten it right in so it doesn't move. And then I'm going to tighten up the first one, make sure it doesn't move. I think it all relates to the flux capacitor at the back. I think that's what it relates to. Let me just slowly turn this car back and you can see. where I've placed that pipe there, you see. And it comes out the back there and it's been screwed in place. So that's not going anywhere. That's, that's it placed in the inside of the car. And I suppose because there's no um, handbrake on this side, so there's room for it. So I've got the passenger side door sill here. And as before, it sits in, so these open uh, areas are on the outside and this curved inner is on the inside. And these three match up with these three holes and they just slide in place like that. And then they're held in place with three FP screws, just as we did with the other side. Three. I'm going to see if I can do it from that unique angle there. Don't know if I can. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the car upside down like that. And that is our three holes there. So I'm going to put one screw in there. I'm going to put a screw in that hole there. And a screw in that hole there. And then I'm going to hold. Let me just move the car. I'm going to hold the door sill in place as I tighten them. Gotta be really careful. 
careful that I don't knock the camera. All the lights. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull it close to me because it's not lining up properly. Just hang on. I don't know if they're screwing in, let me just... I don't know if they're screwing in, I'm going to have to tip... I'm going to have to tip it up to see if they're screwing in. I'm not sure if they are. Well, the screws haven't fallen out, so I'm assuming that... That's the uh, check that they are in tight. So that is the passage side door sill in that matches the door sill on either side here. So next thing we need to do is we need to put all these cables together. So we got these two, three black ones here. Let's make sure we've got them. So them two are the same. So we're going to put those two together with that black one. And then we've got this colored one there I'm going to clip them together just as before so they don't move keep them at the same height but make sure they don't move like that not sure if they're all in. Right. They're not all in. So I'm going to I'm going to group them closer together. I haven't got them all. Let me just try there. No, I can't seem to get them all. Hang on. See if we can get them all together. Push that coloured one together and then clip them. Yeah, I can't I can't get them all. One moves. It's not good. Can't seem to get them all. Let's see if I can squeeze them all together like that. Yeah, it won't, it won't grab them all. Right, so you think, I don't know. So I'm going to feed these cables down to the other end. Like that. Just unclip that. Just make sure these are all the same height, like that. This is the bottom end. I'm going to clip them together. There. And then I'm going to clip the top ones together in whichever way I can. There. They're not all together, but it's fine. And then same again, what we've got to do is we've got to put, I'm just going to straighten them out. See, they're not, they're not all together, so let's just, see if I can squeeze them like that there and just squeeze all the cables 
We've got to put cable ties on these as well. So we've got to put one here. Roughly around about the same about there. there. Just gonna cut the ends off. do the same so I'm going to zoom out I'm going to spin the car around the interior of the car like that so what we need to do is these loose ends need to feed through Yeah, they need to feed through this section of the car, like we did with the other one. It's quite tight. I don't know if... Let's just see if I can squeeze them through here, this gap. Like that, there. Okay, and then I'm going to re-clip them. Just to make sure that they don't fall a bit there. Okay, and then... So like the other one, the cable goes, cable goes down there, I'm just trying to see where the cable, where it goes, so it goes above the pipe there, so it goes like that, so let me just pull them cable there like that, so it goes like that, so that's where the cables go down there, they just seem to sit there and I think they wedge down the side of this pipe here, there, uh, like that. And then we do the same thing with this here. We unscrew that, we put the cables down and we screw it back on. So let's do that. It's not that easy, but it's already holding cables. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So, release the screw. I'm going to slide it down and then I'm going to feed, let's feed these cables down. I don't know if they're going to go under, but we're going to have to. So, I'm going to feed that tab back over these cables, which is again, it's not that easy. Quite thick now. Let me just it's not that easy, but let's see if we can just pull all these cables out of the way. There, and pull that tab back around like that. There. So this white cable needs to go under, so I can pull it a bit more. It needs to go under the tab, and then I need to be able to screw it back in place. Let me just turn it. So I'm going to get the screw back in place. This is fiddly. So I've got that white wire there. Okay. 
All right. Let's get the screw back in the hole and then line, line it up. Yeah, it's not easy. I'm just going to move it out of the way of the camera so I can try and Not as easy as the other one was to get these cables just to squash. I'll show you how I've got it back together once I get it back together. It's just a bit fiddly at the moment. Just I think it's going it's going in now. Right. I'll show you what I did. It wasn't that easy. So I got oops. It's very difficult to see. So there's the tab across and there's all these cables that are feeding through there now. And this was very difficult to re put it over the massive group of cables, but you can see now all the cables are in place. So now that that's in place, I can feed these back where they should be. So there's so so that needs to go like that, push down there, and then hold hold them there like that, and then wedge them down the side of this grey cable here, like that. Yeah, and that's how it goes. So the cable, see the cable's there, and it goes down, across, on top of this pipe, and then wedge down the side. I'm going to leave this on here. Um, until we attach them, but yeah, so that's that's where we are right now, and that's as you can see, that's our two door sills there in place. And see, see, this is what I mean, we had to unscrew this. Then we had to feed the extra cables down there and then put and then put the tab back on and then screw it in place and then it left us with this. So it comes it comes from the front, it goes down there, and then out the back. So that completes issue 53 of the build. There. As always, we've got merch for the channel. We have our nerd creative range and our stay creative range. Links in the description. Get what you want. Let's turn that steering wheel around. There we go. I'd like to thank for your company. I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean?